literally woohoo in a bush. What are you doing? Are you gonna propose or not? What the heck? Wait, wait, he went over there, but Jace is over here. He's proposing to nobody. Excuse you? Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. I'm starting in cast today because my sims are all upset about Blake dying still, and it's stressing me out, and I just, I don't want to think about it. In my brain, I would like to pretend that Blake is not dead, so we're beginning in Create a Sim so that I can ease myself back into this. I was actually thinking about changing Pepper's hair back. Oh my god, you changed your last name. No, 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 no. We are the Bell family. You can't just be taking other people's last names. That's because of MC Command Center. I always forget to change that setting, and I also kind of don't know how, so I'll just change it and cast myself. But anyway, I was kind of thinking about putting Pepper's hair back. I do love the purple, but also I'm just in the mood to, to change it up. I don't really know to what. I do like this hair a lot too. And she used to have that other new base game one. It's so hard to find the hairs you're looking for now, especially when they're base game because there's so many. It's like really hard to filter, but okay, I don't like the red. Is there a pink? This one. She used to have this one. I do like this hair. We could always do, you know, this one maybe. <laughs> oh my god, they didn't update the swatches on this. When they did the hair swatch update, they didn't do this one. I'm just kidding, by the way. We're not, we're not doing that one. That's from the actor career in Get Famous. And you know what? I feel like maybe it's not the best for this. You know, I do like this hair. This could be a fun change for now. I'll probably change it again soon. <laughs> I don't know. I have this habit of not changing my Sims appearances like their entire lives. I dress them as teens and then I just leave it permanently. So I've been trying to make more of an effort to like let people grow and change, get new outfits, change up their hair because in real life that happens a lot more often. I don't know about you, but I don't wear the same one shirt that I had in high school. I do wear some shirts that I had in high school, actually a lot of them, but not just one. I don't wear the same one outfit that I wore in high school. <laughs> oh, it's only 6 a.m. Oh, we have to go through like the whole day. Everybody's crying themselves to sleep. Oh my god, and Anna's still at the graveyard. <laughs> Oh no, this is the second time, two episodes in a row, that we've started the episode with one of my sims being at the graveyard. That is extremely unpleasant. Okay, do you want to come take a shower maybe? I kind of forgot that all my sims have school and stuff. Um, you have work, just go in, I don't care. I think my main goal for today though is that I kind of want to get Peter and his boyfriend moved in together. We also need to make them like properly dating because they're not really yet. <laughs> that bar is a little bit low. Oh my god, the cat just stepped right on my sandwich. Oh, we're happy again. Okay. Okay, that helps. <laughs> We're not like completely miserable. What are you doing? Don't go mourn Milton. Oh my god, you don't even know Milton. This is the problem with keeping graves on my lot. It's fun, but it, it's also kind of ridiculous. Like I'm kind of- Anna, did you just break that? You will replace it. Oh my god. And the toilet is on fire. Are you on fire? No, you're good. You walked away to wash your hand. Okay. Why do I have this thing still? <laughs> like the way that we've had this and it's a daily problem and has been at this point for like two years in real life. This thing has been causing me pain for two real life years. Oh, you're cooking. Oh, and you're flirty. Oh my gosh. Invite over Jace, please, 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 please. Or send him a text or something. Oh, I'm going to work. <laughs> Dang it. I forgot I had work at 9 a.m. Oh, well that sucks. I got excited. I thought this was my time. I was like, look at me, I'm flirty. I'm all set. Nope, never mind. I'm at work. Oh my god, she did go in mourn. Stop. Maybe I'll call the sadness hotline, see if we can get rid of this sadness move a little bit faster. I won't lie. It, it is starting to test my patience a little bit. <laughs> oh, love day is tomorrow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and it's Penelope's birthday. Oh, also interesting. Well, I'm kind of just waiting around until my sims get home from work. So while I'm here, I might write another one. Anna has to publish 10 books to get onto the next level of her aspirations. So I might just get a move on with that. Mind over muscle. Sure. Let's write a confidence book. <laughs> you know, I, I could use a confidence book. Yeah, that might help me. I'm not sure I trust Anna to write a good one though, I won't lie. Oh my gosh, look, our cousin's here. Oh, and she's doing push-ups. Okay, this is Renee. Snow, go talk to her. Do you not know her? Oh my god, no. I'm sorry, I'm cheating that. That's not. We are cousins and we live across the street from each other. <laughs> you definitely know each other. You know what? It would be nice if we had some friends. I might keep trying to talk to her. Why does that say? It just told me to ask her to be my flower pal at my wedding. I already had my wedding and she was there. She was doing push-ups. Can I do push-ups? No, I don't think so. Do you need to have a higher fitness skill to do push-ups? She's a show-off. That's annoying. What, what if I want to do push-ups? Flaunt wealth? Really? Oh, <gasps> did you just see that? Was that a- No, 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 Hang on. Was that a- Is she pregnant? Eating for two? From trying for baby? Second trimester at 16 hours? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did she get pregnant from Risky Woohoo when I didn't know? I guess she's just in her first try. She's pregnant? We're pregnant. I mean, I was gonna have them try for a baby today anyway. So that, like, that's fine. I'm actually, I'm happy about this, but 
<laughs> what setting do I have risky woohoo on? MC command center, MC woohoo, woohoo pregnancy, risky woohoo percent one? She got pregnant on 1% risky woohoo. Wow. That's actually happened to me before in a let's play, but it was way worse. <laughs> it was like a guy that we were gonna dump and we got pregnant. I think they woohooed in a closet and she got pregnant. Like it was a whole thing. And I'm pretty sure it ended up being twins. And also I think I was in university at the time. So it was like a big disaster. This is fine. We're happily married. Well, we're sort of happily married. We, we're established. We have 16,000 simoleons. Tommy just got promoted. Yeah, we're doing a lot better. Okay, go to work. Okay, well, speaking of doing better, Better. Penelope, my dear, you get to age up today. I might have you make your own cake. You want to make a white cake? Oh, she just farted. Why? Are you? Oh, you're a slob. I was going to say, did you eat something? What, like, what's going on? No, she just, she's just farty. That's fine. We all have those days, you know? Nothing wrong with that. I'm not here to judge. Although there are a lot of people that just watched you fart. I won't lie. Penelope, that was kind of gross. <laughs> and a lot of people did just see it happen, so. Okay, add birthday candles. Oh, catering conundrum. Bored at work, Pepper is killing time by browsing the internet when the business phone starts to ring. The caller breathlessly explains that there's a celebrity gala taking place this evening, but the master chef booked to cater the event has fallen ill and they need an immediate replacement. Pepper's employer is the right company to handle this job, but she suddenly finds herself daydreaming of rubbing elbows with A-listers. Will Pepper skip out of work early and cater the event all by herself, or will she book the event through her employer? I'm not gonna pay to cater the event by myself. I'm gonna get fired. I don't wanna get fired. Are you kidding? I mean, it'd be fun, but I'm not trying to lose my job. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't even take a screenshot. <laughs> Happy birthday, Penelope. So sorry. All right, we randomized their traits. So three, two, one. Ugh. Paranoid. Paranoid Penelope. That kind of works. I kind of like that. Okay. Here, you can go use the bathroom. Oh, Blake sent Penelope a gift. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, Penelope wants to have a big happy family. That's her like lifelong goal. I wonder if we should have her try and get married fast. Should I try and do that sooner than Peter? Maybe she'll be in the education career. That could be cute. Do I know anybody? Hang on. Dates for Penny. Age. Young adult. Requirements. Not married. Okay, Peter's my brother. Lilith is a vampire. Um, you know what? Why am I kind of feeling like maybe, wait, should we try and date Lilith? I'm dead serious. I think I'm going to. I just used that club to meet her. I think I'm, I think I'm going to go try and date Lilith. Let's see if we can do like a little double date kind of thing. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, wait, that's, that's Tommy. I'm sorry. I totally didn't even recognize you. Why do you have a burger? What are you doing? Anyway, <laughs> I want to go double date with Peter, Cam, Penelope, and Lilith. I think marrying and having a baby with a vampire is probably a mistake, but I did kill Vlad recently. So maybe, maybe this is what I need to do to redeem myself. Bring a vampire into the family. Have some vampire babies. I am sincerely going to regret this. Okay. Oh, cute outfit. Do you want to invite over Lilith, perhaps? Oh my god, Jace, you make us all look so bad. Literally, look at Peter right now and look at Jace. Peter, you look horrible. <laughs> you need to change. You can't, you can't wear this. I'm sorry, but you cannot wear this. You look ridiculous. Okay, that's better. I'm also feeling a bit sad, which kind of ruins my vibes. Are we dating or are we just like, okay, they are boyfriends. That's good. You want to give him some repair tips? <laughs> Maybe share some photos. Here, we could take a photo with him too. That would be good. Is Lilith coming? I swear I invited her over. Oh, she's doing it now. Oh, duh. Sorry, that's my bad. All right, you can go talk to her inside. Oh my God, there's an astronaut named Emily Mims. Do I date the vampire or do I date Emily Mims? Wait, I might go into cast and just see what the deal is with Emily Mims because, oh, she's single. It, at least it seems that way. There's no other Sims here. We want to be a bodybuilder. We like candle making. Wow, not insider. I'm sorry. I'm literally going to change that trait. I hate the insider trait. All they do is complain about not being in clubs. They're like, oh, I haven't been to a club gathering in a while. Okay. You can be outgoing instead. It's a, it's the same vibe, but less annoying. You know what? Emily Mims, I think you're cool. Oh, should we give her like blue hair or something? No, that's fun. I like that. I don't like your outfit though, Emily Mims. I might need to change it. See, I think this is quite cool. I think she's cool, but like vampires are also cool. So I'm, I'm feeling very conflicted. I might honestly flip a coin because either way we can be friends with Emily. It's just a question of is Emily the one for us. <laughs> you know, are we going to try and marry Emily today? Or are we going to try and marry Lilith today? You know what? The other benefit of this, of like popping into cast really fast, is that it is much better to have townies that are ever so slightly better dressed. You know, like the smallest amount of effort in cast on a townie, like I'm spending two seconds doing this, it does go a long way. And you know what's so funny? She's literally wearing an astronaut costume right now. I did all of that to fix her outfits and she's wearing an astronaut costume. I don't even think she's actually an 
astronaut. I think she's just in the outfit. Wait, I have an idea. Dan, come here, I need help with something. Would you prefer to date someone named Lily or Emily? Um, they're very similar names. Pick one. Emily. Emily? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> yes! I get to date an astronaut, Dan. <laughs> the other option was a vampire, so you picked well. Well, why didn't you just pick? Because I couldn't decide. <laughs> Come on, talk to Emily! What are you doing? You're throwing away your chances. Oh, thank God Lilith's gone. I said Lily and not Lilith because I didn't want to give it away. I don't think he knows who Lilith is, but just in case, I figured it would be a safe bet to not say anything. Okay, I'm also not feeling sad right now, so I might try and romance her a little bit. Ask if she's single. Okay, meanwhile, Peter is not having a good time. Look at him all sad on the toilet. I understand. It's okay. I know that, like, you know, one of your parents died yesterday, so now's a bad time to try and be dating, but it seems like Penelope's doing fine. Emily is single. Oh, and she responded well to my flirting. No, don't leave. Do you think she's actually going to work as an astronaut? <gasps> oh my God, she actually is an astronaut. I thought she was just like at a costume night at the bar. No, she's literally an astronaut. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're definitely gonna date her. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, while we're here, I mean, we came out to the bar on Penelope's birthday. Do you wanna buy yourself a drink or something? Oh, it is night night. You know what? We met the love of our life at night night once. Remember when their grandma Terry met her husband at night night? Here at this very bar, are you flirting with me? Oh my god, Devin. Devin's not Jace. Where's Jace? He left. Oh no. <laughs> now I'm flirting with random men. Oh, she's mad about it too. Look at her face. She overheard it and she was not pleased. <gasps> Leanne Dean. Or perhaps more fun to say, Lean Dean. <laughs> Should I go see what they're like in cast? I'm just curious. I already decided I'm in love with someone else, but I might just go see. Oh, she's got a baby. And she hates children. Okay, that, uh, yep, <laughs> that checks out, okay. Considering Penelope wants a big family, that's like her whole thing, um, maybe we shouldn't get with her. <laughs> maybe she's not the right person for us. You know who is? The astronaut. I can't believe I almost dated a vampire. That was actually a close call. I'm making dangerous choices here. What's that? Dim and Gusty is my favorite drink, apparently. Okay, happy 21st birthday. Are you flirting with Lean Dean? Stop it! We talked about this. We have someone else in mind. I mean, we are still single. So, no harm in just a, a little chat, you know? Who's that? Aubrey France. Oh, Jace is back. Oh my gosh. And I'm flirty. Okay, come fix it, please. Oh, oh, Lean Dean became an elder. Never mind. <laughs> We're definitely not gonna date her. Oh, well, sorry about that, Lean Dean. Oh my god. This does seem to be going better. Although he's bored? Bored? Oh, I'll show you bored. We're passionate kissing in the bar and you're bored? Okay, I fixed it. He's feeling flirty again. I was gonna get upset. Profess undying love, whisper seductively. I don't know. We just got to get this bar a little bit higher today. I think this has been a very productive night. Maybe not for Lean Dean. I think she's had a rough night. <laughs> Rejected, got old, has a baby she doesn't want. That makes me feel kind of sad actually. When sims that have the hates children trait have children, I feel bad for the kid as well. Oh, oh my gosh. And speaking of children, if you want to put any name suggestions in the comments for our next gen baby, Pepper is pregnant. We kind of brushed over that. That's actually a very big deal. I like goofy ones for potential heirs. For example, Pepper Bell, like Bell Pepper is a chef. Oh, I forgot I had that woohoo. I almost got distracted. That's my bad. Sorry. You know, I have Risky Woohoo on with MC Command Center, so one of them could end up pregnant from this. I don't think that they will, but technically they could. <laughs> if that happened twice on 1%, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, no, not pregnant. We could start an alien pregnancy if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I don't think I'm interested in that. Oh my gosh, I can propose? Should I just propose right No, I won't. I won't. I want to have a better proposal. And tomorrow is love day, so it would be more fun if we did that tomorrow. Why are you in here? His sister is trying to sleep. It's Penelope's birthday, and you're like playing on her computer without permission. Okay, everybody go to bed. Everybody go to bed. Second trimester in six hours. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of pressure. I feel like I'm not prepared for this yet. Why are you still awake? I tried to send you to bed. I'm just gonna sell that cake we had. I have to do a lot of cooking anyway because Pepper needs to for work, so we don't need to keep like extra food around so much anymore. Oh, you know what's actually kind of sad? Because of story progression now, people like have kids so often, even when they're elders, and then they die and toddlers get adopted by other people. <laughs> yeah, the neighborhood stories, oh, went to sleep with the fishes. I was gonna say the neighborhood stories really makes people have a lot of kids, but apparently it also kills a lot of people. <gasps> Amira Wood and the single mom and three kids household is dying. Died? <gasps> Amira fell for a cow plant's cake bait? D 
Dude, the fact that I was literally thinking about dating Amira. No, no, no. We know Amira, don't we? One of them knew Amira because I thought about dating her when we were teens. Oh, that's terrible. She ate a cow plant cake? Did anybody else die? No, a dog was adopted. That's fun. Another dog was adopted. <laughs> okay, two dogs adopted and two Sims dead. Sounds like a, a regular day in The Sims 4. Oh, I could have asked the future cube who I should date. <laughs> Wait, do you want to do that now? Hang on, hang on. Future Cube. Should I get divorced from my wife? Should I divorce Tommy? Stuck in Future Cube factory, can't get out, please send help. Okay, let me ask about my love life then. Your romantic future looks not so bright. Okay, <laughs> happy love day then. That's great. Just great. You know, I might take the day off work so I can spend the day trying to get engaged. I need Peter to get out. I was gonna give him some more time, but now that I'm pregnant, we need to actually have him leave soon because <laughs> I'm gonna need his bedroom for the baby, so. Oh, happy first day, Penelope. That's fun. Okay, I'll eat now and then I guess maybe take a quick shower and then call up Jace and see if he wants to hang out. Oh, hang on. Fill the food bowl. The cat's gonna starve. Oh, I did shower. I thought I hadn't showered, but he did. I just sped it up faster than I realized. Okay, well, his needs are all good. Shall I send a sad text to Jace? <laughs> I was more envisioning a, a happier text, like a, hey, you want to come hang out? Because I might propose to you, but we can try a couple sad texts. Please respond. Oh my god, you know what I need to do? I forgot this litter box sucks. I meant to buy the one that has the laser eyes, because this one lasers the poop, and then I don't have to clean it, and that's what I want. I want to laser the poop. Why is the chicken in here? And why won't Jace hang out with me? <laughs> Jace keeps not inviting me out. Well, I'll try it myself then. <gasps> oh, I'm happy again? Come on, quick, while you still have time! What if he said, okay, I was gonna say, what if he says no? That would really kind of ruin all my plans, but he didn't, so it's fine. Hello, my dear. Oh, you look a bit stressed out. What happened to you? What's going to happen is we're going to get engaged. I might even have them just, like, elope right here. Romance, embrace caress cheek, hold hands. If we can get like the full date bar done, that would be great. And then I'll propose. We could always go somewhere in Windenburg for like a prettier place to elope, but I might just propose here. Woohoo, in bush. There's a bush here. Oh, there, yeah, it's right there. I put that there, probably for this reason. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I, I can't think of a more romantic way to propose. <laughs> Then after my two sims, literally woohoo in a bush. What are you doing? Are you gonna propose or not? What the heck? Wait, wait, he went over there, but Jace is over here. He's proposing to nobody. Excuse you? You know, I've had this glitch before, but before he was standing like here and, and but we're on completely opposite side. Are you serious? Should I be concerned? Well, it's a good thing that I didn't try and get good screenshots because otherwise this would be devastating. <laughs> that just did not work. They did get a deeply in love sentiment, so that's cute. Okay, that really really did not go according to the plan. <laughs> that was kind of a flop. Maybe we'll go get married then. Hopefully we don't get married in opposite sides of the park. There's a really cute spot in Windenburg, like at the back of that Von Haunt estate. Way back here, if you come all the way back this way, there's a beautiful little wedding arch. We could just go do it. I like the idea of a private love day ceremony, you know? Especially because we had a rather um unfortunate wedding last week. <laughs> I would prefer to not have any extended family members die at my wedding, and this is a good way to avoid that. Oh, cute! Let's get some screenshots. I'm gonna need these. They're just in normal clothes, though, which is maybe not so ideal. Oh, I brought everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, Tom, what are you- Did you even get married? What are you doing? Get married! Oh my god. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come and visit? You can at least drop by once in a while and tell your dear mommy you love her. I'm sorry! I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm trying to have my sims get married and they won't. Did he really leave? I don't think they're married. No, they're just engaged. What, what, what am I supposed to do? He's running away. He's fully running away from me. Stop running. Can I try again? <laughs> It doesn't work. Okay, what if we put a wedding arch like up here? Oh, we could probably get some wedding pictures this way. I'm just gonna teleport him. I'm not even worried about it. Get married to Jace. <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Here, wait, come take a photo. This is perfect. I could get some like mid ceremony pictures. Okay, that's not, <laughs> that's not good. Can you like hold hands or something? <gasps> take one ring photo. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, I can't really see the, but you know what? We will know. We will know that it's a ring photo. That can go on my gallery walls. Quick, take one again. Quick, they're kissing! You're missing it! Oh my god. You know what? The hugging is cute too, so that's fine. We can try and get like a more rotate- Oh, what did I do? Okay, we can try and get a more like rotated version. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I feel a bit better about this now. I'm actually okay if they if they move in together. Oh my god, he has so many siblings. Are you seeing this? I was gonna move him in there, but there's fully eight sims. <laughs> I mean, someone's probably gonna die soon. Maybe they won't have any kids of their own. They're gonna be too busy raising his little siblings. And now my household is smaller and I've got extra space 
for a future baby. Oh, we could go decorate the nursery. Should we go do that now? We waste no time. I'm so sorry to my brother, but I'm ready. You know, you know what else? He may have gotten a small wedding. He may have gotten kicked out, but at least he didn't die by rabbit because that happened to some people in this family. I'm not gonna name any names, but that did happen to some people in this family. You know what? This is wrong with me, okay? But like, we only just learned that some of these kids existed today. So what if, and this is just an idea, what if one or two of them stopped existing so that I have space for Jace and Peter to have kids? Oops, too late, I already did it. <laughs> I deleted two of them. Oh no. They don't need to have like six kids. I'm sorry, Hillary, you do not need to have six kids. I feel kind of bad because her husband's dead and I just deleted her children, but she won't remember them because they're deleted, so it's fine. As far as I'm concerned, they, they don't exist. And now there's space in my household. See, problem solved. Uh, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> Sorry about that. And back to Oasis Springs we go. What's worse, me accidentally killing my son with a rabbit when I meant to kill the eco inspector? Cause I did intend to murder, I just, it glitched and murdered the wrong sim. Or is it worse that I deleted two children? Which one is, is my worst mistake? Let me know in the comments down below. Also in the comments, honestly, like actual serious question, because we are going to have a baby soon, if you could tell me in the comments, like serious name suggestions for that baby and like what you think we could call it and maybe what they could end up being like when they get older. Oh my God, we have loads of stuff in here. <gasps> oh, maybe I'll, I'll place some of these things. Look, we got a bike, put that in the front yard. I have 90 plus of these, 14 of these. I really don't even need the money at this point. Like genuinely, I don't even know what to spend it on. We've got a really expensive TV. Oh, do you know what we could do? Oh my gosh. This is the sign that we finally made it. It's what, like gen six? But besties, we have finally made it. We have the 13,000 simoleon stove and fridge. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about that actually. Okay, I'm, I'm very pleased. I can sell a couple more of these things too while I'm in here because I don't really need all of this stuff. But what I do need is a small amount of money so that I can decorate my child's room. Do you want to use one of the cute like floral wallpapers. I might have to get rid of that though. <laughs> that might not fit in here anymore. We also have this that Blake made before they died. So I'll, I'll probably keep that too. Cause you know, last memory of our dead Sim and whatnot. <laughs> it's, it's nice to have. Um, I don't know about the patterns in here. Oh, this rug is kind of perfect for this. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna put the bassinet like kind of in the corner to be honest, because the baby's gonna become a toddler. So really what I'm trying to do here is the toddler room because we're gonna need that a lot longer. Okay, I just put down a couple little toys. I honestly can't tell if this is ugly or not. Like I, I genuinely cannot tell. So I might end up changing it next week, but for now, baby room with bassinet as an afterthought because I'm more concerned about them being a toddler. You know what? I'm so happy with this family right now. I'm having a lot of fun. Aside from the fact that Blake is dead, everything seems to be going well. We're kind of starting the next generation soon. Pepper is in her second, almost third trimester. So we have a lot to look forward to. But I think on that note, I'm probably gonna end the part right here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this series, I'll have the playlist linked at the end if you want to catch up on the past episodes. And with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Seriously, I need to get out of here fast because I just said things were going well, so I have to close the game before anything bad happens because at this rate, I may have jinxed it.